Good morning, everybody. Today's story is the grouchy ladybug. Can you guess what this story is going to be about? What do you think that this story is about? The title is The Grouchy Ladybug, and look what's on the front cover. On the front cover is a ladybug. So I think this story is going to be about a ladybug. Now I want you to pay attention to what happens in the beginning of the story, the middle of the story, and the end of the story. And I want you to be prepared to answer questions about it. All right, let me shift over. The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. And Eric Carle is the author. Eric Carle also drew the picture. So he is the illustrator. And this is the spine. And this is the back cover. And this is the front cover. The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it. Aphids. Now, if I look in to the picture and I see the ladybug flying into the aphids. I know that these must be the aphids and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then a grouchy ladybug flew in from the night. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight them for me? If you insist, answered the late friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other, bit, other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed up and flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Now, what do we notice about the stag beetle? The stag beetle is bigger than the ladybug. So do you think the ladybug really thinks that the stag beetle isn't big enough? Hmm. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Now these animals keep getting bigger and bigger. And the grouchy ladybug still says it's not big enough. Hmm, I think the grouchy ladybug might be a little bit afraid. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, 
you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Ooh, so I know at 10 o'clock, the grouchy ladybug met a lobster. The grouchy ladybug met a lobster. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Ooh, I wonder if this boa constrictor will be big enough. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. What do you think that grouchy ladybug is gonna say? Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Ooh, do you think the hyena is gonna be big enough? Want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, rising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale, said the, Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, hey, you want to fight? But it got no answer. So it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's sin, Finn, hey, you want to fight? But it got no answer. So it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, hey, you want to fight? Quarter to six. Hmm, I know that can also be 545. And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. I think the whale was big enough to fight. What do you think? At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Mm. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Do you think that the ladybug, the grouchy ladybug, is still going to try to fight the other ladybug, the friendly ladybug? Mm. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Do you think the grouchy ladybug gave up? Mm. I think so. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. 
You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. So I want you to think about what happened in the beginning of the story. What happened in the beginning of the story? Let's go back and remind ourselves. Hmm. What happened in the beginning of the story? What happened at eight o'clock? What happened at eight o'clock? Let's remind ourselves. What happened at eight o'clock? What happened at 10 o'clock? So what was going on in the middle of the story? What was going on in the middle of the story? Hmm. And what happened in the end of the story? What happened? What happened at the end of the story? What did the ladybug do? What did the grouchy ladybug do? I want you to go back if you need to, think about those questions and answer them and draw a picture about the beginning, middle, or end of the story. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow.